Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video, we're going to take a look at SAP HANA's analytics. So we'll take a look at the Fiori Launchpad, and we will view a multidimensional report for incoming sales orders. We'll also take a look at those incoming sales orders using the Query Browser. We'll then take a look at another Fiori application, which analyzes overdue purchase KPIs. Then finally, we'll open up the Lumira desktop and create an analysis using the Business Warehouse Connector. We'll begin by logging into SAP Fiori with the username and password. In this case, we're logging in as a sales rep named Cooper, and I'll enter in his password to log on. And these multidimensional reports render all sorts of different queries, and these queries can be all rendered in the same way. So once we log on, we'll take a look at that. So here we are at the Fiori Launchpad, and we have a lot of different applications that we can pull into our home screen, depending on your position or what you want to see when you first log in. So you see that we have a sales analytics area, and we'll click on the tile that says incoming sales orders to continue. We can then enter in a particular currency for these incoming sales orders. In this case, we'll choose the euro. Hit OK. And then we can search for all sales orders for this exchange rate type, as well as that particular currency. So we'll hit Go. And you can create these various analyses um, using this report. So for example, if you want to add a filter for a particular sales organization, for example, this sales worldwide, you can select that line and then click on Filter and filter down to that sales organization. We can see all the sales, incoming sales orders for that. <clears throat> you can also add dimensions from this left panel on the left side over here. So we can add in plant, plant name, as well as other dimensions, depending on what you want to see in your report. Now we can also view a graphical display very easily. We can click on the graphical tab over here and then view this in a graphical format very quickly and effectively. Next, we'll take a look at the Query Browser in the Fiori Launchpad. So again, we're back at our home screen here, and we'll go up to the Query Browser tile and click on this to continue. Now, this Query Browser is one place where you can see all of the different reports and then navigate to the report analysis in the Design Studio. So we can type in sales into the search field to look for any relevant queries. We'll hit enter. <clears throat> and then we want to add this all incoming sales orders query and pull this into our design studio. So you can see once that's selected, we can open that in the design studio. And in this prompt here, you can fill in va um, values for different variables such as exchange rate type and display currency. So we can add those in to our query. So we'll add in the currency. And then we can also switch over to the chart view for this query that we just designed now, similar to the previous application that we looked at. But now we can go ahead and save this as a variant for others to view or for you to send out. So you can hit save, and then add a name to the variant. Back at the home screen of the Fury Launchpad, you can see that we have a whole variety of different applications here that are set up. And again, these can be created for your position, your role, anything like that. There's, over, there's hundreds and hundreds of different Fury apps that can be suited to your needs. But for this next example, we'll take a look at the overdue purchase order items KPI. So you can see off to the left here, we get a quick screenshot or snapshot of what's going on with our overdue purchase order items, and we can click on this to drill down further. So here we have all of our different suppliers, and we can see the open amount items um, and their, their quantities. So we're going to drill down further into this EMAG supplier right in the middle here, and this is a major benefit of using Fiori on HANA is the ability to quickly drill down into different factors and determine root causes of 
certain issues. So now we're going to drill down into the supplier and we can filter by a variety of different things as you can see plant purchasing group purchasing category but in this example we're going to filter by material group <clears throat> so now we can see all of the material groups for that supplier you can see that there's spare parts and pc components and that the number of overdue items for pc components is quite high so we're going to drill down into that further by just simply clicking on that and then clicking on document and we'll be able to see all of the related documents for the last 365 days, which is how that how this particular report was set up. So we can quickly drill down and find the root cause or find a particular document that was associated with this high overdue item list. Now the last thing that we'll take a look at is creating an analysis in SAP Lumira. And what you're looking at right now is the home screen or the Lumira desktop application. So this is the home screen of SAP Lumira. And in this step, we're going to create an analysis. In this case, it's going to be looking at purchase contract leakage using information from the SAP Business Warehouse. So we'll see how we can log in and pull information and data and create quickly an analysis. So we'll begin by creating a new data set. So we'll use the menu path. We'll choose the source of where we're going to receive this information from. In this case, again, this is from SAP Business Warehouse. And then you'll need to connect to the server where the information is listed on. So that will be the server. You also need to log in using a username and password. And we can connect. And then once you're connected, you will choose a data set from the business warehouse. So you'll go into the information area and you can see that we have different categories of different data. In this case, we'll look at the materials management area. We'll use the drop down, go into purchasing, and then take a look at the purchase contract leakage. And this will pull in all of the information in the business warehouse related to this information area. So we'll click on this and hit next. And now we have some mandatory var variables that we need to add in, like the time frame that you'd like to see this analysis conducted for, the currency, as well as the date and the language. So again, we'll add in euros for the currency. We'll put in a date. And finally, a language. We'll click OK. And then we have our variables for our analysis. Next, the final step for this is adding in our measures and dimensions. Now these are coming in from the data set that we pulled. So each data set will have different measures and dimensions. And these are what we'll use for our X and Y lines on our graphs that we create. So we can add in purchase order net amount for the measures as well as the non-leakage amount. And then we'll add in a few dimensions. So you can pick from a variety of different dimensions to pull into your Lumira data set. You're pulling in about eight different dimensions. You can add those in. And now we're all set to create our own analysis in Lumira. So we'll click Create and then get started. So here off to the left, you can see that we have our measures, which we'll use to pull into the x-axis. And in this case, we will create the non-leakage amount as the x-axis, and then pull in a few dimensions into the y-axis. You can see, Immediately after pulling those in, we now have a chart here showing us this non-leakage amount by material. And now at the bottom here, you can kind of see that we just have this one tile. You can quickly add other tiles to create a PowerPoint style format of slides, all with different analysis based on the data set that you have added to Lumira. So we'll go ahead and create a new tile, click that plus button, 
And now we can add in new measures and dimensions to create this new analysis. So that's a quick look at the analytics that are capable within SAP HANA. And what we did was look at multi-dimensional report using SAP Fiori, viewing incoming sales orders. We also took a look at those incoming sales orders using the query browser. We looked at other applications like the overdue purchase KPIs within Fiori. And then finally, we took a look at SAP Lumira and created an analysis using the business warehouse connector. For more information on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call our number listed here or visit our website at sap-bmc.com.